Hey, Long Riders! Welcome to Memorial Day Weekend! Get ready, man. Today we're tying the Drakes. And it'll be out on Penn's Creek. It'll be out on Major the Creeks in Pennsylvania. The big green Drake hatch is coming. If you can fight the inner tube hatch and you can fight the crowds, it is amazing freaking hatch. Lot, catch a lot of big fish. So let's, well, without any further ado, let's get to the vise and tie this amazing green drake. We're gonna start with a size 10, regular standard dry fly hook, and a greenish, light green, 70 denier thread. Now we're gonna tie in some couple strains of deer, black deer hair, tail for the tail. So it's black deer tail for the tail of this fly. Just gonna measure for length, tie it in. So what I did here is I combined black yarn and a yellowish green, green floating yarn for the wing on this fly. I'm going to combine these two floating yarns to make the wing. Now you have a little bit of patience with this yarn it wants to go everywhere, but you're gonna wanna figure eight it, wrap a couple around the base to wrap it all together, figure eight it and tie your wing in. While we're messing with this wing, it's, it's welcome to everything fly fishing, where we tie flies that catch fish, not fishermen. And this is a prime example. This fly came out of a day I went to this creek and I didn't have a fly and all I had, I, t I cut everything off the body and all I had was a wing and a hook and caught five fish that day. So I learned the need of, of tying flies with no hackle. And now we're gonna tie in this white thread and that's gonna be a rib to the fly. Now we're gonna tie in about a quarter inch wide section of this turkey fe the feather, but you're gonna to wanna to use the black tip. You want it to be all black. Now we're gonna tie this turkey section in behind the wing then that'll help build up our body all the way and you're gonna tie it all the way back to the where the tail starts now this dubbing I made myself after the flies are on the water here um, it's a yellow light cream and a really light green all combination to make this dubbing you're going to dub this all the way up to the wing. Now, once you've got your nice cigar shaped body there, you're going to wrap the turkey wing over top. You want to make sure it stays on top. And then tie it down behind the wing.
Now you're gonna wrap that white thread up as a rib. The rib just fly. You're going to pull the wing back now, and you're going to put some thread wraps in front of it, make it stand up, and throw a whip finish on there. We're not done yet. Now, you're going to pull back on your wing and cut them to length. You want to make them as the same length of the shank of the hook. Or longer, not shorter. A little long doesn't matter. So you're gonna cut these off. Okay, welcome to the video. If you like that video, hit that like button and please subscribe. And like always, keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip. And maybe I'll see you on the water. Have a good day.